Greetings to all of you. My dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends. A warm welcome to all of you from your pastor Yadi. Waiting in joyful hope. Operating instructions. And our readings for today are from Syria. 48, the verses 1 to 4, and the verses 9 to 11. And then Matthew 17, verses 9a, 13, I mean then 10 to 13. And I'm going to read it from the Good News Bible. And they came down to the mountain, and Jesus ordered them. Then the disciples asked Jesus, Why do the teachers of the law say that Elijah has to come first? Elijah is indeed coming first, answered Jesus, and he will get everything ready. But I tell you that Elijah has already come, and people did not recognize him, but treated him just as they pleased. In the same way, they will also mistreat the Son of Man. Then the disciples understood that he was talking to them about John the Baptist. Our scripture, Elijah will indeed come and restore all things. But I tell you that Elijah had already come and they did not recognize him, but did to him whether they pleased. So also will the Son of Man suffer at their hands reflection. I often try to imagine what I would have been thinking or feeling had I lived in the time of Jesus and saw what every everyone else saw and heard, what everyone else heard. Sad to say, I'm not sure I would have been on the right team. I'm guessing I would have clung to what I knew, unable to recognize Elijah and John the Baptist, or the Son of Man and Jesus. Don't get me wrong. I'd like to think I would have figured it all out in time, but that's giving myself an awful lot of credit. So what do I do with that knowledge? What can any of us do, knowing that we didn't have to make that call and are able to judge and guess with 2020 hindsight? Well, Jesus didn't have, Jesus didn't leave without giving us the operating instructions. He made it pretty clear. Love God and love your neighbor as yourself. If you did it to others or withheld it from others, you did it to Jesus. We are to seek God in everyone, even our enemies. We are to forgive without limit. We are to turn the other cheek, leave everything behind and follow him by willing to die for him. As it turns out, we do have a way of judging what we would have done. 2,000 years ago, 
by what we do today. I don't know about you, but turning the other cheek and loving those who hurt me is not an easy proposition. And let's not even think about the part where we have to give up everything for God. He didn't mean that literally, right? Oh, I was afraid of that. Meditation. Today's reading can be a challenge. So focused are they on Elijah and something that seems far removed from our lives. Try the Ignatian practice of imagining yourself in the scene. Maybe you are overhearing the conversation. Maybe you are one of Jesus' disciples. What does it feel like? Do you believe what you're hearing or are you hedging your bets, paying lip service but allowing yourself a little disbelief or doubt? Jesus asks us to be all in all. Pray with me. All-knowing God, we are weak, and we father and, and and we falter at times. Be our rock, our stronghold. When we doubt, creeps in, and begins to shake our faith. You tell us that in our weakness we are strong. Help us believe that. May the Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you, my dear ones. This is your Pastor Yadi. Bye.